As attractive as Peter Obi's presidential ambition is, he cannot win against the All Progressive Congress candidate, DJ. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Popular Nigerian social political activist Dejade Anjou on Tuesday expressed his views about the likelihood of former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, emerging victorious in the PDP primaries. The activist, who is highly opinionated, opinionated also declared that Peter Obi will not be able to defeat any APC candidate at the general election. Hmm. Well, like I said, anybody is free to contend, contest. You are free to contest any time, any day. But the fact remains that you are, um, we, being the electorate, are not going to pick somebody who is not competent. Anyone, in fact, anyone and anyone can come out. But at the end of the day, we are not going to face we're not going to pick or select someone who actually has, you know, the person has little, very little, very little to offer. We are going to pick someone who has the best to offer. He has the qualities. He has everything. He has the strength. He has the ideas. He has the ideology. He follows through it. Whatever he said, he's going to follow through with that is who? That is just it. They can come outside and tell you, oh, they want to vote 20 people, 200 people. At the end of the day, we get to choose. The only, we are, the only thing where we are going to say, oh, this is not looking good for us, is the, is actually the, what's it called again? What's it called again? Um, um, the, the, the only thing that it is, that is going to, that is going to, how do I put it now? That is going to make electorates vote for you is when you have the full package. You are young. Youthfulness is now very necessary because we have seen what somebody who is actually, you know, frail and old looking. We have seen what he has been able to do, what he has done to Nigeria's economy. So we need somebody who is young, who is very intelligent, proactive, ready to you know, build Nigeria, ready to implement policies that is going to be for the entire good of the country. That is just it. Let's find out more about this. The news in detail, please stay with us. He wrote, As attractive as Peter Obi's presidential ambition is, and I absolutely love it so much, but he does not stand any chance in a PDP primary or at the general election against the All Progressive Congress. Nigeria is so unfair, and Peter B knows this. He added that APC does not believe in elections. The only way PDP can win the next election is if APC gives the ticket to a southerner and PDP goes north. PDP should look towards either Tambo or Bala, current serving governors, who are young and will be accepted. Not one old expert politician that will be going to hospital always. Another person that stands a good chance is Bukola Saraki, but how can he win the presidential primaries in PDP? Politics is deep. Truth be told, Truth be told, the JJ Andrews' opinion may not be entirely far from the truth, but it is wrong for him to say that P2B will not stand any chance against him against any candidates of all progressive congress in the forthcoming elections. Peter B. happens to be one of the few governors who left office without owing any debt. In fact, it was reported by the Venga that under Peter B. Anambra State witnessed a lot of infrastructural development and he still managed to leave the equivalent of five hundred million dollars in investment as well as surgical as well as local and foreign currency including one hundred and fifty six million in dollar dominated bond. Which governor under the canopy of all progressive has been able to achieve that feat? Unless Nigerians fail to see that P2B is the right man for the job, it is only it is the only way he will lose to an APC candidate in the forthcoming elections. 
What do you have to say about this? Nigerians know this sincerely. Nigerians knows all this. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it that they, they, they keep saying it to our face that we know what is right for us. But because of, because of um, what we they say, at the end of the day, we do things that we are not supposed to do. Okay. Um, concerning this particular one, me, I feel people be, people be, um, speaking from what he has done for the people of, um, Anambra state, I think, you know, well, I'm just saying, I think if, if, if the screen is done, he has ticked off that boss. And the thing is, they're saying this is what, you know, it's, 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 he's not taking it so... How am I going to say it? So, um, it's not a do or die affair to him. It's not a do or die affair. In fact, people called him out. Somebody called him out and, you know, was telling him to, to. Okay. Unlike others, you know, he came out and someone called him out. I was telling him to, to actually come out to run for presidency before he actually came out. So now we never knew, as in up until last week, we never knew if P2B was going to be coming out. But I think last week, or as, was it two days ago, he came out and said, you know what? I'm going to be running for the presidency if so, so, so and so happens. If, if, uh, if, uh, how am I going to put it now? If at the end of the day, you know, Nigerians, what, what I'm trying to say is, if I'm, at the end of the day, Nigerians are the ones to actually make a decision. Enough of them telling us, oh, we want this and we cannot get it because we have longer truth. They have said it to us several times. They have said it that our, our, our greed, our hunger and, you know, wanting to fill our pockets for, the, for now, for now, for now, without thinking of what is going to happen tomorrow, will make us not to pick the right candidate. But Nigerians, guess what? Let us prove them wrong. Let us wow them because already they are claiming to know us. But let us show them that, you know, we are actually, you are actually, um, you are actually not going to do that. We are not going to be gullible at the end of the day. So it is time for us come next election to, if you have not gotten your PVC, you get your PVC ready and you go out and you fearlessly, you know, vote for that best competent person so at the end of the day nigeria will be heaving a sigh of relief okay on this note you have come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning in to listen until i come your way next time enjoy the rest of the day <laughs>